Yeah, I pulled a cry hammer. We had three guests on a day too as well. You are our third guest be on a day. So uh, that's that's pretty good for us. We had um, we had a we had a candidate today. Uh, name is Charlotte um, Buchanan, and she's running for Tennessee. And uh, she talked about that Congress. What they need to do is impeach Obama. And, uh, get abolish the IRS. Get rid of the, e the get rid of the EPA. Get rid of the funding of the NAACP. And she's a black woman too as well. And she said we need to support the NRA, support Israel. We need to um, help Israel out. If we have to send troops over there, close our borders down. And also another thing is that we need to do is actually help business out there to have a fat a flat business tax plan to increase jobs and to make private to and make um uh, and and uh, and to have uh, you know uh, manufacturing jobs back here in the United States. So set saying our jobs going overseas. That's what she said today on my network. She said all that today on my network. She's right. And oh, another thing here. Did you see the Obama regime this past week? Did you hear him what he said on at, at Africa? Did you hear him say what he said? I know what Joe Biden said. He said that Africa is a, is a country. No, no, no. Nancy, I'm saying, uh, Nancy Pelosi said the same thing. No, I'm saying what Na what the Obama regime said at the press conference in Africa. Did you hear him? Did you did you see that all this week? Yeah, we gave a certain amount of money for the uh, research for he goes the ball. He said, Clay, he did one for Africa and the other president. No, he didn't. George W. Bush did one and the other president. Um, yeah, he, but he also said this, that we, he actually made this, that we are, we're not, um, uh, we're not creating new jobs. There's no productivity happening. And also, uh, he said that he gave us a plug to us too as well. Believe it or not, so the Patriot Conservatives Network is actually what they're doing is, I don't agree with them. 100%, but you got to listen to this guy because he's actually having a guest on there and actually letting a guest speak out of the topics that th that that they want to talk about. So even though I don't agree with it, I I, even though I don't agree with this, uh, with his agenda, uh, it's still a good, uh, it's still a good broadcast because he's letting this, he's letting this, the, the guests speak what they want to talk about as long as they need to, as long as they want to have a voice out there. So, you know, this is what, this is the future of broadcasting is, folks. This is what he said. This is what the, this is the future of broadcasting is. I just want to let you know about it. That's what he said. His exact words. Go ahead, Joe Goner. Well, the internet and the radio, you know, are like black talk and live stream and, and right stream and, and, and talk show and others. That's the, uh, the way that, uh, right now, the future and, uh, on getting information out there. Because nobody really watches late street media anymore. Cable TV, you know, who watches, uh, that type of stuff that is. Uh, in fact, uh, every channel, but, but every channel is now ahead of, uh, MSNBC. Uh, they're, they're in deep trouble. They're, they're bankruptcy. But, uh, Couple things you gotta know. Uh, in fact, MSNBC was famous to the, uh, this week when they, uh, the uh, White House reporter for MSNBC uh, said, mentioned that uh, Obama was born in, in uh, Kenya. Uh, he was, uh, you know, he went back to his home country, is what she said in Kenya. Right. Right, that's correct. So, you know, so it, it was just, it was just a bloody slip of the tongue, but. Uh, it, it, and the thing is that, that uh, the, the people on uh, on the internet picked it up, but nobody else did. Right, I know, and I have Fox News picked it up. I'm surprised they would think Fox News. What yeah. they did, I was really surprised by that too. 